I really think a champion is defined not by their wins but by how they can recover when they fall. The success of every woman should be the inspiration to another. We should raise each other up. Make sure you're very courageous, be strong, be extremely kind, and above all be humble. I am lucky that whatever fear I have inside me, my desire to win is always stronger. You have to believe in yourself when no one else does. You just have to prove to yourself that you can go out there and be the best that you can be and not prove anything to anyone. With a defeat, when you lose, you get up, you make it better, you try again. That's what I do in life, when I get down, when I get sick, I don't want to just stop. I keep going and I try to do more. Everyone always says never give up but you really have to take that to heart and really do never definitely give up. Keep trying. Luck has nothing to do with it, because I have spent many, many hours, countless hours, on the court working for my one moment in time, not knowing when it would come. Everyone's dream can come true if you just stick to it and work hard. I don't like to lose at anything. Yet I've grown most not from victories, but setbacks. If winning is God's reward, then losing is how he teaches us. It's me, and I love me. I learn to love me. I've been like this my whole life, and I embrace me. I love how I look. I love that I'm a full woman and I'm strong and I'm powerful and I'm beautiful at the same time. There's nothing wrong with that. I think in life you should work on yourself until the day you die. If plan A isn't working, I have plan B, plan C, and even plan D. Think of all the girls who could become top athletes but quit sports because they're afraid of having too many defined muscles and being made fun of or called unattractive. I always believe I can beat the best, achieve the best. I always see myself in the top position. Am I the greatest? I don't know. I'm the greatest that I can be. Since I don't look like every other girl, it takes a while to be okay with that. To be different. But different is good. When you lose, you get up, you make it better, you try again. Nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. Growing up I wasn't the richest, but I had a rich family in spirit. Standing here with 19 championships is something I never thought would happen. I went on a court just with a ball and a racket and with a hope. Victory is very, very sweet. It tastes better than any dessert you've ever had. I love who I am, and I encourage other people to love and embrace who they are. But it definitely wasn't easy, it took me a while. If you can keep playing tennis when somebody is shooting a gun down the street, that's concentration. I always say if I play my best it's difficult to beat me. If you smile things will work out. I'm a perfectionist. I'm pretty much insatiable. I feel there's so many things I can improve on. I decided I can't pay a person to rewind time, so I may as well get over it. I just hate to lose. When I am on the court, it is like my life depends on it. I never thought about leaving a tennis legacy. I always thought about leaving a legacy of fulfillment, living out your dreams, and giving back. I don't have anything to prove ever, ever in my life. If I have something to prove, what does that mean for everyone else? And I think everyone should have that attitude. You just have to prove to yourself that you can go out there and be the best that you can be and not prove anything to anyone. You can't underestimate anyone. 
I just never give up. I fight to the end. You can't go out and say, I want a bag of never say die spirit. It's not for sale. It has to be innate. You can be whatever size you are, and you can be beautiful both inside and out. We're always told what's beautiful and what's not, and that's not right. My smile is my favorite part of my body. I think a smile can make your whole body. I am not a robot. I have a heart and I bleed. I went on the courts with just a ball, a racket, and a hope, and that's all I had. Legendary? I don't know. I'm just Serena. I'm an athlete and I'm black, and a lot of black athletes go broke. I do not want to become a statistic, so maybe I overcompensate. But I'm paranoid. Oprah told me a long time ago, you sign every check. Never let anyone sign any checks. If I'm winning, I have to act like I'm not bored. If it's a tough match, I have to act like I'm having a good time. I'm a drama queen. I'm a high performance athlete, I'm running, I'm sprinting, I'm sliding, I'm doing pretty much everything and the last thing I want to worry about is my chest. I want to just worry about playing the sport at the highest level that I can. I've always been a fighter and I've always fought through things my whole life. I've had to learn to fight all my life, got to learn to keep smiling. If you smile things will work out. If I have a daughter and she plays tennis, and I have a son who plays tennis, I wouldn't say that my son deserves more money because he's a man. I would say they deserve the same amount of money. I don't go thinking I'm going to lose. I never go into a tournament thinking that. I'll do the best that I can. I think I can improve a lot. I think I can get a lot better. I feel like there's much much more I can do. Someone like Billie Jean King is completely my idol. I love phenomenal women. The experiences she had of being African American in the US. That itself is a task. I appreciate the hardships Maya Angelou went through for our generation. I'm super influenced by the black people that paved the way for us. I never left my roots. You can identify me as someone that didn't become high and mighty. Humility is a defining trait all of us can forever learn, and I try to be as humble as anyone can be. Venus told me the other day that champions don't get nervous in tight situations. That really helped me a lot. I decided I shouldn't get nervous and just do the best I can. I don't have anything to prove ever, ever in my life. If I have something to prove, what does that mean for everyone else? And I think everyone should have that attitude. I'm Serena Williams on the court, but away I have so many different names. I call myself Butterfly. Luck has nothing to do with it. I'm thankful to my family, friends, and fans for all of their support. People see me on the court only as a superhero, grunting and winning. They think you're a robot, and I'm not. My smile is my favorite part of my body. I think a smile can make your whole body. I want women to know that it's okay. That you can be whatever size you are and be beautiful inside and out. I think you have to love yourself before you fall in love. I'm still learning to love myself. I don't know if I've had my share of drama, but I've definitely had my share of hard times. I'm not used to crying. It's a little difficult. All my life I've had to fight. It's just another fight I'm going to have to learn how to win, that's all. I'm just going to have to keep smiling. Families first, 
and that's what matters most. We realize that our love goes deeper than the tennis game. I've never felt invincible. I've never used that word to describe me ever. With my website, I'm really interactive. I've written a lot of things about me. I think I actually made a very kind gesture out of nowhere. I decided in the middle of that match that for every ace I hit I want to donate money. I just think people should honestly look at themselves before they judge another person. I've never been spoiled. I want a Range Rover very bad, but I refuse to spend the money to buy a Range. The diamonds are borrowed. I won't buy them because I'm too cheap. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.